Hey everyone, this is Germs, and welcome to another review. This time we are reviewing a series. It is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reboot, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It will be premiering September 17th on Nickelodeon, but on YouTube you can already catch the first episode, which I have, and it is pretty good. I'm very surprised. Um, uh, ever since they, they showed the designs, like what you see right here, uh, I was kind of mixed about it, like mm, each turtle is, is a different type of turtle. I know Raph is a snapping turtle, and I don't know what the others are, I'm not exactly that well versed, but in case you can't tell, I am a big turtle fan from the very beginning. Uh, ever since the first movie, the first cartoon in 87, I am a humongous fan. So I had to check this out, and yeah, there are good things about it. it. First, I'll say that it's pretty funny. The energy of it is all over the place, and I really dig that. Um, it feels like Furikuri to me, if you know the anime Furikuri or FLCL, depending on how, you know, you, whatever you call it. it. It's energetic. It's all over the place. It, it's not dirty like that, like that anime, because it's still for kids, it's on Nickelodeon, what have you. But it is pretty entertaining. At the same time, while it's all over the place, it's bad because it's a little too much getting thrown at you. And for a kid, that's great. For the little kids, they're gonna love it. For someone that is not the right age group for it, uh, this first episode is great because it it has enough energy but this is a, a 20 minute episode but it looks like from the other episodes they have online on the, on the Nick website they have uh, four other episodes on there but they're all 10 minute um, shorts or whatever you would call them and two of them are great two of them are just they're throwing way too much stuff at you but the animation, I'd say, is great. The design, I'm gonna have to get some used, gonna have to get used to a bit. But other than that, yeah, I mean, there are positives besides the animation. The voice actors are great. Uh, it's a whole new cast. Uh, it's also a brand new April. <clears throat> and yeah, I know the internet hasn't been. Is she right there? Yeah, she's right there. And. Not everyone is happy about April because, you know, they reboot a series, they add, you know, something new to the character. In this case, now she's African-American, but that shouldn't matter. I love her character in this. Um, I don't know the voice actors. I, I don't know the voice actors besides uh, Ben Swartz. I think he's Leonardo. But for April, I love her energy. <laughs> in the other uh, series, like, April is always, like, there, she's kind of the level-headed one. Here, she's almost as crazy as the turtles. She's out there, she's got like baseball and bat. She's like ready to attack. She's the first one in, even though the turtles like, like it's the turtles show, but she's the first one ready to go in a fight. But yeah, she, she is down to, to fight and down to be a part of like whatever action's going on. And I, and I dig her for that. I know the kids are gonna love it. Little girls are gonna love it. And I believe also the voice actress, she dressed up ha as her for uh, Comic-Con, and that adds brownie points like, all right, you love this character enough, you're gonna dress up like her, that's awesome. And yes, yeah, so the voices are great. Uh, what can I say? The humor is great. I kind of like the weapons. Um, that was another big pet peeve at first when people saw the, the designs of the characters. They, they, they lose their weapons but they gain these magical weapons. The series now is more magical, and I don't mind that uh, for what they face. Like, every episode now is, like, uh, its own uh, standalone story. Um, in the very first episode in this one, they fight a character voiced by John Cena, who it is an interesting choice. <laughs> and, yeah, it, it just goes all over the place. I think that's what makes it different besides the fact that it's magic now they have these magical weapons so now they go all over the place with it 
Uh, Mikey has this like yo-yo nunchaku weapon that sets on fire and has like a jack-o-lantern face on it and it is pretty cool like when they're moving when they're jumping around it's it's pretty cool I dig it I dig it a lot and yeah uh, I gotta say I like that Raphael is kind of the leader in this one he's he's a bit different but you can kind of see from here that yeah Leo's a little immature but you can tell they're gonna they have to do the whole you know butting heads for for leadership <laughs> and Raphael has his little moments too where he doesn't seem very secure but he's just like, like ready to go for the fight as well just like April and as far as the not so good or the not so bueno of it uh, I have to say I don't like Splinter very much. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of Splinter. I love his voice actor. I know he's uh, voiced by Eric Bauza. And yeah, I'm not digging him. All right, real talk. I loved the 2012 Turtles. I mean, I love them all. I mean, I have them all represented here, except for the live action series we won't talk about that one venus de milo no bueno but this one my one biggest peppy besides all the craziness where it's going a little too crazy uh for for the shorts anyway splinter he's got it looks like he's got his badness badassness to it but the first shot that you see of him is him just chilling on the couch. And I guess they want to show like, oh man, I guess he's fat and lazy, but no, 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 he starts whooping butts whenever he can. <laughs> and that almost sounds French and I apologize. <laughs> but Splinter, yeah, maybe he'll grow later on, but I I'm not digging his character too much. Um, one other thing I should mention the villains besides John Cena they have foot soldiers no this guy this guy so far but I am eagerly awaiting if and when he shows up and I hope he does no Bebop Rocksteady no other villains that you know and love here there's a lot of people that are just like completely new and out of the box and you know what I don't mind that there's like a wor warm creature there's a hippopotamus voiced by one of the guys from Flight of the Concords, or one of the actors from Flight of the Concords, uh, Rice Davies, I believe. I recognize that voice anymore when I heard it, it's like, Murray! And yeah, the, it's, it's just all out fun. I, I'm kind of digging it more than I dig the, the DuckTales reboot. But, you know, it's not for me. I will say the little kids will love it. The energy of it is just all over the place. And yeah, you're gonna want, wanna watch it like, one after another. I tried watching it one after another and I was like, I need a break. I need some water. I need a nap. I'm tired. <laughs> but as far as recommending the new series, check out the first episode. Check out the episodes they have on the Nick website. If you dig it, then have at it. But again, if you're a little kid or you have kids, why not? Otherwise, I would recommend the 2012 series, and if you're a little more adult or you want a more serious Turtles, the 2003 is the way to go. Because everything they do in that series, everything that happens to Baxter, everything that happens to, to Shredder is like, dang. <laughs> this is serious. So, yeah. I'd say check it out. Have an open mind about it. If you're going to be, you know then then don't don't even go near it because you'll hate it you'll hate it like teen titans like the last one I, I talked about so yeah check it out let me know what you think if you dig it if you don't and yeah i'll do more reviews like this maybe i'll talk more about my turtle them i have even more stuff like this um yeah if there's anything you want me to talk about just go ahead let me know in the comments or message me in any sort of way i'm at full of germs on all the things and yeah, I'll talk to you next time. See you later.